Hi friends, welcome back. Today I am here with an interesting and wonderful opportunity provided by Andhra Pradesh State Government in coordination with APSCHC. As we all are undergraduates under R19 regulation affiliated to JNTU Anantapuram, here is a latest circular released by our university that all the undergraduates under R19 regulations currently we are in the 3-2 semester we should undergo industrial internship under APSCHE and submit that certificate by the end of 4-1 semester in our colleges means every student should complete at least one internship using this APSCHE LMS portal successfully and then submit the certificate and other supporting stuff in the college to the respective departments whenever asked. The student should submit that certificate on or before end of 4-1 semester or else you will not be eligible to go to 4-2 semester. Okay. So, regarding this, APSCHE has introduced a way to complete these and all. Let us see that in detail. The first step is everyone either in the laptop or computer or mobile. Open the Google Chrome and in the search bar Type like this https colon slash slash apsche lms dot e hyphen pragati dot in. Whenever you type and search this, apsche lms portal will open as shown. See, this is the home page of apsche lms portal. Whenever you see the page like this click on get started now whenever you click on get started now like this a display bar appears the screen appears like this and asks for some details that is we are students so keep the student as it is under the university section select JN2UA JNTU Anantapuram as we all are affiliated to JNTU Anantapuram. Under college select Rami Reddy, Subarami Reddy Engineering College displayed in the list. Now coming to the course select course as B.TECH 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 After selecting BTEC, select the respective branch. If civil or mechanical, select the civil slash mech. If computer science, there is computer science engineering, CSE. If it is there any specialization, you can select in the list. Coming to triple E ECE, they can select just triple E ECE or CSE other branch students enter the student name okay after entering the name enter your other number select year of joining as we all are R19 regulation students regular students have to select the year of join as 2019 and LES, lateral entry students, must select the year of join as 2020. In the ID number section, please enter your ID card number, that is your roll number in capital letters. After that, fill the email address and mobile number in which you have access to get OTPs. Okay, after filling all these details, please recheck once again and then click on generate OTP. A OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number. Enter that OTP, then enter the CAPTCHA 
in the correct syntax provided by LMS portal. Then click on submit. Once you click on submit, a dialog box appears that the registration is successfully completed or a tick mark appears that your registration is completed. This is the first and most step every student of R19 regulation irrespective of branch must complete in order to continue their education with a valid BTEC certificate. I will explain step 2 in another video. Thank you for watching. Hi friends. Continuing the process of registration after step 1 we will proceed with step 2. In the step 2 we must get back to the same APSCHE LMS portal homepage. On the top right corner a 3 bar box will be appeared. Click on that. Then two blue color dialog boxes appears as login and sign up. In the step 1 we have successfully signed up. Now we have to login. Click on login. After clicking on login it asks for username and password. In the username section please put your registered email id. In the password section please enter your registered mobile number. I repeat once again. In the username section please enter your email address and in the password section please enter your mobile number. Okay. After entering your email ID and mobile number, enter the CAPTCHA as per the syntax given. Okay. Let me log in. After entering the three details, click on submit. Once you click on submit, the home page appears like this. Then click on the industry connect which is displayed over here. Industry connect. We have to click on that. Once we click on that, a box appears like search oppor opportunities and a blue box appears like search. Now click on search. Once you click on search, a list of opportunities means a list of companies that is a list of internships offered by different different MNCs will be displayed over here. According to the requirements of the company and according to the eligibility criteria and other supporting criteria, we have to select a desired company at least one company and we have to apply for the internship see there are number of opportunities nearly approximately 180000 internships are available here you may get doubt that how can we select a specific company we have we don't have knowledge over our selection how how should we do now then there is a simple trick there is a funnel box that is called filter box over a circle is being displayed click on that that is filter box whenever you click on that filter we can filterize our desired options see select a type we want um, whether you want full-time internship part-time internship or just an internship or certificate course so as part of academic regulation we are doing we have to select either internship or certificate course whenever you click on internship then next select qualification btech select role uh, that is uh, uh, no need and select district under select district you can select the district of yours as we are from Nellore I select Nellore then select Mandal 
many many students are from diverse regions diverse backgrounds rural areas urban areas so according to your mandal you can select your mandal after that uh, no need to select category also after entering these all filters you have to click on submit find opportunity when you click on find opportunities the desired filters will be applied and those companies which are matching your specifications will be only displayed let us check whenever i click on find opportunity see there is only one opportunity which are matching my specifications that is my district my qualification and um the other details that is internship or certificate course or something whenever it came see whenever you sort out like this select any one thing which which interest which is based on your interest then click on view option okay whenever you click on view option the description will be given in a detailed way see what is the uh, what is the company name where is that company uh, what are the, where is the location the internships are available under what category Qu what are the qualifications required what are the skills required whenever you are selected for the internship what will be your job the description the job description will be in detail and then after reading all those we should click on apply when you click on apply again some details are asked by them that is mobile number registered mobile number email id that is registered mobile id now the most important step in the application is attach your latest resume you have to prepare your resume keeping the latest information in the resume that is latest educational qualification latest skills you have learned everything you have to build up your resume and make it ready before applying to this internship once you are ready with your resume click on attach your latest resume then click on files then select the resume file it will be uploaded now enter total experience here there is total experience as we are students and we are new to internships we should enter here 00 a single zero or double zero because we don't have experience right if there are some special students we who have completed already internships you can explain your uh, internship experience over here now under the skills section there will be displayed um, different types of types of skills in that select at least 3 to 4 skills okay after selecting skills select interests based on your interest select under description please be careful that you have to describe yourself about yourself you have to describe at least a 4 to 5 qualities or uh, what is uh, mm, uh yourself uh, what is your aim what is your uh, objective to do this internship something a brief description about you after filling all those details properly you have to click on submit once you click on submit uh, a dialog box appears that your application was successfully submitted once you have completed these two steps please wait for the confirmation everything will be sent to your registered email id everything will be updated if you are selected or if you are not selected if you are selected what is the job when when do you have to do it how the internship goes on how will be the certification what are the eligibility for certification and other details but once again i am saying remember the most important thing this is not optional this is mandatory for every r19 regulation btech student because it is a part of academics okay so every student every my friend 
please take it seriously and apply thank you thank you